hello there guys welcome to this video regarding Twain uh, this is the third version of the software or the library to be more precise uh, I'm gonna show you the la latest features uh, the first feature is that uh, the library is now able to detect auto feeder and use it by default second you can select a s uh, the scanner name only and the third one is that you can scan without having to select every time since you already selected the scanner name you can just provide the scanner name and uh, the program will know uh, your selection or remember that and you can use it all the time uh, the source code now have comments explaining what's happening so if you if you are interested in d improving the library please do okay and uh, the last thing here uh, is that you have a simpler function call okay so we have two functions scan images which will scan the, the images and return the list of file names and the other one is get scan source which allows you to select a scanner and uh, returns its name to you that's all so let's get into demonstration so first thing we have we have this list box we have this button called scan double click that okay uh, so when you want to call it you just so it's something like this dimension file name equal to end dot scan image images and this will uh, scan the images from a normal scanner uh, a scanner with uh, automatic document feeder etc so uh, this will do all the work for you and and the next you will loop on the items in here and add it to the list or copy the files do some kind of processing it's up to you okay so let me demonstrate this now I'm gonna run this you can say scan um, I'm gonna select uh, this one, okay. And I don't believe I have something to scan. Maybe let me see. Let me put this paper, okay. And uh, I put something like that and press scan. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was debugging. Sorry about that. Yeah. So now transferring data with a few seconds okay so now if we go to the window you can see that the file name is available right here okay so this is the file name uh, each, if you have multiple files they will all appear here okay so uh, this is the first option now what happens uh, is that I want to show you other parameters so this function receives three optional parameters. First one is the type of image. Uh, you can use BMP, JPEG, okay, like the previous library. The next one is that uh, close the user interface after transfer. Okay, well, you in some cases you might need to do that. This is a little bit strange because in some cases it works, in some cases it does not. So you can leave it as it is. Uh, the last parameter. Uh, is about the name of the scanner uh, yeah so uh, what you want to do is that y uh, you want to remember the the scanner name uh, so that you don't have to uh, you don't have to uh, <coughs> select the name of the scanner each time you are on the program okay so this is how you do it uh, first I'm gonna go to my project here okay let me go to settings where is the settings here and I'm gonna say uh, scan that's it and uh, what are we gonna do here I'm gonna add another button copy to paste set scanner set default scanner enter and all I have to do is my dot settings dot scan equal um, uh, get oh wait a minute uh, twin lib dot get scan source okay so and finally my dot settings dot save so what this does, it's gonna select the scanner and save it to the setting of our program. And uh, in our scan code, 
I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna provide it as the last parameter. So my dot settings dot scan. That's it. Okay. So now if you run this code and you select the default scanner, I'm gonna choose the HP. Select that. Okay. And you would like to scan something. Okay, something like that. Okay. So now it works, right? Okay, now I'm gonna close the program, run it again, but now instead I'm gonna just say scan and uh, what you see here is that it selected the scanner already for you because it's the default scanner, because its name is stored in the settings. Okay, uh, yeah. So uh, if I change the default scanner to this one, select, and now I close this uh, if you would like to uh, okay and now I run this again and press scan okay you can see that this virtual scanner runs okay uh, yeah so this is all for uh, this is all uh, for this library I hope you'll find this useful. Um, if you have uh, questions, suggestions, or recommendations, send them to notes at mk-self.com. Also, it will be nice if someone uh, is able to improve this library. Uh, if anyone improves it, uh, please uh, send uh, the updates to me so that I can publish that and uh, everyone uh, will make use of it. I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope you'll find this useful. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.